having a little walk. <laughs> I'm an eye on a scooter. Such a lovely day today, isn't it, Manaya? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice and sunny. I reckon they've been spraying a little bit though. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> Nice and cold as well. Let's walk about, walk about. Hey, hey everyone. Just rub your feet in there, man. Manaya, you gonna give it a go? Oh no! Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> See you kids, man. When people see you, Mom, hmm. they're gonna think you're hippie. Ha ha ha. I'm a Christian girl loving God's creation. That's what I am. A tree hogger. <laughs> That's right. I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> Say what you like. <laughs> Wagwan, my brothers and sisters. How you doing? Um, yeah, me and Manaya are out and about today. Um, mate, no one's gonna make us stay at home. Are you, are you serious? I'd be rather at nature, mate, anytime. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of um, hoo-ha happening all about this coronavirus lock. And, um, you know, we're not really that fussed because uh, we know there's more to it in it no one's gonna tell us what what you know what i mean tell us you can't do this you can't do that leave it out you know what i mean so um yeah we're going out as much as possible you know especially in the forest that boosts your immune system like yeah it's where you need to be don't be cooped up at home sitting in front of the telly in it no yeah yeah go out and about mate yeah, yeah, have some fresh air. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, but I've actually seen quite a few people here in the forest, you know. They're normal, which is a good thing. You know, people got to do what they got to do. All right. So, um, yeah, um, this is a time when you can get with your families, you know, and uh, do things that you haven't done before. All right. I mean, I'm thinking like me and Manaya, we're going to camp out and um, I'm going to show her some survival skills. We've been watching a few, you know, you never know. Going to have to do that soon. <laughs> you never know, do you? Um, yeah, so survival skills, man. Um, yeah, work with your hands like, you know. So, um, yeah, I thought like, have a little chit chat with you people, man, and uh, hope everything's all right with you. Don't panic too much. Just prepare. That's what we've got to do, right? God tells you to look after yourself. Eat healthy, man. You know, and uh, don't be eating no like junk food and stuff. That's gonna clog your arteries and what have you. So you know, you might die of a heart attack, and people might think it's just like you know coronavirus. Like, leave it at. You know, it's just. Um, yeah, you've got to watch what people do. I mean, this is a good time for you to, like, maybe research or something, you know, and uh, get cooed up, like, what's really happening and realise, like, you've been lied to all your bloody life, like. So, um, yeah, and that will just, like, blow your mind, you know, because I remember what that happened to me. I was, like, so depressed, thinking, nah, oh, man, what kind of world are we live in at, you know, these pedos and what have you running the show. Like, what? And these celebrities now, like, sitting at home, you know, and uh, drained because they can't get their adrenochrome, whatever, looking a bit pale, you know. So, um, yeah, they're coming out. I think they're freaking out. They're, they're talking rubbish, you know, and, uh, yeah, you just see the real deal, I suppose. Um, 
yeah i don't know I, I, it's just really dodgy all this stuff you know like what's going on with the world we don't know what's going on we're just going by day by day and trusting god you know because why are you worry about tomorrow you know tomorrow's got enough of its worries just you know focus on the lord man focus on the lord jesus christ just keep your eyes on him and um he will give you um courage strength you know and uh yeah praise his name sing his songs you know like yeah be joyful in this moment you know um we're all right we're all right and let's all stick together start cuddling people man um this is deliberate social distancing like what <laughs> You know, they just want people not to like talk to anyone. Do you know what I mean? And uh, stay at home. Let's see how this goes. I'm telling you, this is like this was a um, a little tester, and they're thinking, yes, look at this. It's all going wonderful. Look at these idiots. These elite lot, yeah. They're having a right good giggle. Seriously, looking at their cameras and what have you. Looking at all the people freaking out on bloody toilet roll and what have you. You know, I swear down. Peeps got to use their noddle, man. Stop acting animal-like, you know, like, and selfish. <sighs> it's going to get worse. Let's be real, man. It's going to get worse. If we know what the Bible says, it, it ain't getting any better, you know. And so these are just the beginning stages, fam. You know, let's... Uh, be prepared. First Corinthians chapter 6 verses 19 to 20. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Get it? That's beautiful. We are his. We've got nothing to worry about. Don't worry about things, man. Seriously. Stop freaking out. It's all right. Um, God's got our back. And, um, yeah, we're all right, man. Seriously. Love each other. You know, that's one of the commandments. God made it clear. You've got to love each other. You know, social distancing is not a good thing, man. These elite lot, they want you to separate. They don't want you to trust each other. They don't want you to care for each other. Go and check your neighbour and see if they're all right. Do they need anything? Go and start trading things. Oh, like, yeah, um, I'll give you some of this if you can, like, offer me a little bit of that. You know, it's all right. You know, stop uh, having pride and start, you know, smiling. It's all right, you know. It can't be stressed out. Start singing psalms, mate. You know, seriously, um, in these times when people are feeling like sorrowful and what have you, we, we brothers and sisters, got to be, you know, positive <laughs> and start singing to the Lord. Praise, raise your hands, you know? Yeah, mate. So, um, yeah, we're just like, you know, chilling and uh, having fun in the forest and um yeah take your kids out you know it's an opportunity to go and uh play have fun you know be a child you know it'll make you happy trust me don't sit indoors watching that screen all day long you know that's what they want they want you to just become like you know emotionless and um yeah Stop going, listening to these people, man. You're going to catch a virus. You can't catch viruses. It's not how the viruses work, you know? And they've done ma many experiments, you know? Like, you can't catch it. You can't catch it, man. That's a lie. So go and research on that one. You know, this is a good time to fast as well, like. So, you know, that builds your immune system too. So get out in the fresh air. You know, eat healthy. And if you're not eating healthy, fast man so i mean i heard um that you know they're getting all the uh, military ready ready for what exactly you know um 
this is a more than just coronavirus like you know this coronavirus is actually the flu to be honest and they just put in an extra name to it i want to jab you you know give you a nice shot of whatever um the other you know just like with the whole 5g lock yeah there's a lot going on yeah we've got to teach our kids as well like seriously um yeah I mean, my eyes quite cooed up. Um, so is my middle boy. My eldest is kind of like sceptical, you know. He's, he's kind of like, Mom, oh, man, you're going a bit too much. Like, leave it at keys. Like now, I mean, obviously he's kind of like looking into things and he knows there's some sort of conspiracy with all this coronavirus like. And um, so I'm, like, I'm sending him some video to you and whatnot. And uh, yeah, and see if he um, expands his mind a little bit rather than just even any Tom Dick and Harry so yeah even when you're doing research there's a lot of rubbish out there so you've got to like have some discernment knowing like yeah no actually that makes sense that one is like mm, nah nah I'm not buying that do you know what I mean so you've got to you know kind of weigh it out you know I mean um, this kind of like, like all this Trump and Q virus <laughs> q virus that's a load of rubbish too man seriously uh, it's like people think oh yeah you know some man is gonna save the world like come on <sighs> they 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 made that happen you know like oh yeah it's all come true certain things have come true though isn't it yeah well because they're part of it and they're just going to give you a little bit of truth and uh, that's how they get ya. You know, you think, oh yeah, everything they're saying is the truth now. Come on, you know. As I said, use your noddle. You've got to know, man. You've got to ask the Lord, say, Lord, is this right? Test the spirits. Every time you hear something, say, is this right, Lord? You know, like, have a conversation with Jesus all the time, man. Because we're living in times of, like, everyone is chatting rubbish, man. People think they all know everything now because they live in this information world and they're spreading all of these, like, mate, I'm telling you, there's a lot of false information out there, so don't believe everything, yeah? Just do your research, ask the Lord, like, God, is this right? Like, I'm, I'm not sure about this, you know? And he will direct you, he will direct you, he'll guide you and he'll show you, man. You just got to trust him, trust him. Yeah, so don't, oh, I'm telling you, I don't trust any of these politicians, man. You know, um, yeah, God puts people in certain places, but people wanted someone to look up to. And so God thinking, okay, well, you know, you're supposed to look up to me, but, you know, I'll give you someone. Here you go, there's Trump. Now, if people want to be deceived, well, yeah, God will deceive you. Yeah, there you go, have him. You know, and there's people, man, not in this geezer on a pedal stool, like, you know, and that's kind of blatant idol worshipping. If you put a preacher, president, any of these lot, you know, above God, like, sort it out. You really need to sort it out, you know. The, the people who are in control, you can't trust them. They've got another agenda and, uh, you know, they only care for the people in their club and you're not in it, nor am I. So watch that you know i'm just gonna go and have a bit of wander and um yeah we'll catch you soon uh, love you people man Mwah. and uh yeah Woo! <laughs> so how's everyone all right good yeah let me know on the comments how everyone's feeling and uh yeah just want to let people know man it's all good it's all good when you got god then everything's all cushy in it <laughs>